Vector facial recognition. What creature is this you're about to see? Creature 003. What do you know about this animal? Each photo was taken by myself at the St. Louis Zoo. Each creature at the zoo has posed for these close-up portraits. And this one is one in a series over 500 racial recognition videos you'll see. For more information about the series, you can email me. But what I want you to do now I'm going to click and go to the next slide. You're going to see the face of this creature. Write down what you know about the creature, uh, what name you would give it, and then see if you're right as you go through and learn the unique feature of this particular creature. And then when you go to the zoo in St. Louis, go up and greet the creature and tell that creature uh, all the unique things you know about about it because they really appreciate that very much. So here is the creature. What's the name of the creature? What do you know that's unique about this creature? Write it down. I'm giving you 10 seconds. You can pause the video too, of course. Okay, we're about ready to go on. I say you can pause this if you want to at this point, but you're still writing. Cape Thickney. It's found a lot of tropical areas or a couple species in Australia. What's unique about it? You can see it's unique eyeball, very large. But that's not the real unique thing I'd like you to learn about this creature. Uh, the bird stands, as it says here, about uh, 13, 17 inches, t 17 inches tall, weighs about uh, 12 to 16 ounces. Uh, in length, it's about 15 inches. Wingspan is about 20 to 24 inches. Uh, they uh, have brown heads, special characteristic, and this is a unique thing I want you to learn. Uh, it has large yellow eyes, but there's one more unique thing you're going to learn about it. And that is, its legs appear to have thick knees. Uh, and uh, you can read the rest of this. It has a short uh, plover-like yellow-brown beak. The arrow-shaped head, part of the back area, are covered with brownish-black streaks. A dark brown streak stretches from under the eye to the ear, feathers, and a white streak can be seen below the eye to the cheek. There are white feathers around its eyes. Now, when you greet this bird at the zoo, be sure to give a compliment about the lovely thick knees, or yellowish tin legs that appear uh, to have thick knees, and they love their knees. So comment about their knees. They really appreciate that. It's found throughout the world, a couple species in Australia. Now, let's listen to its unique call as well. Thank you for watching.